Today on 21st Century Business, explore state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, insights from cutting-edge corporations around the globe, a visionary look into the answers of tomorrow today. Business leaders, business solutions, 21st Century Business. Welcome to 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. We're all familiar with vending machines for food, drink, DVDs, even electronics. Well now, very high-tech vending machines are being used in industry to control inventory and reduce costs. To learn more about this innovative development, we're joined by Rick Barrera, the Vice President of Strategy for AutoCrib. Welcome, Rick. Well, it's great to be here, Jackie. Rick, your website says you can vend and control anything. Give me some examples of what your machines are vending right now. Well, we literally can vend anything from the smallest component to the largest jet aircraft engine. Wow. So we're vending dental supplies, veterinary supplies, uh, medications in nursing homes, cash in Las Vegas casinos, uh, walkie-talkies and laptops for the military, and uh, reagents and spare parts in biotech and life sciences. Amazing. So can you explain for us, Rick, the difference between your vending machines and the type of vending machines the public is used to? Well, they're really not vending machines per se. They're really sophisticated robotics with software that speeds workflow and cuts costs. Hmm. Well, let's see some of this high-tech industrial vending in action in this 21st Century Business Field Report. When referring to the last mile of distribution, poor inventory control contributes to billions of wasted dollars each year. AutoCrib's Made in America line of purpose-built robotic inventory management systems ensure that the right part, tool, or inventory is always available to the right person at the right time. The key to a high ROI system is, I think, a reliable purpose-built machine that can live in the harsh environments that are required by the manufacturing world. Second is a feature-rich software package that allows the end user to configure the machine in such a way that addresses his specific needs or problem areas and gives him a payback on his investment. The third component of a high ROI system is the ability to dispense product based on how it's consumed on the shop floor and not what's convenient for the manufacturer to package it in. By doing this, we're typically able to reduce consumption by 20 to 40 percent. Our customers have seen reductions in spend, walk time, and stockouts, which allows them to concentrate or focus on the products that they are producing and leaves the inventory management piece to us. The biggest change in my job has been personnel. We've been able to go down from five employees in the tool crib to just myself and one other general helper. AutoCrib reduces inventory to the absolute minimum creating an initial savings typically in the 20 to 50% range with an additional 20 to 40% reduction in inventory through the use of the proprietary demand-based ordering software. The challenge manufacturers have is to track usage accurately. They set minimums and maximums manually and when you have thousands of items to do this with, it's very difficult to maintain. Software alone can't do it because once it's been issued from the central storage area, there's no visibility. It could be in somebody's individual work area, and you can't track that. Before the AutoCrib system, we lost a lot of tools and we spent a lot of time looking for them. Since we got the AutoCrib system, our tool consumption has gone way down. With a core focus on providing the most flexible and capable systems on the market, AutoCrib also assists in lowering costs and increasing your bottom line. We can better bid jobs because we know exactly what the tooling costs are going to be. Management really likes the AutoCrib system due to the fact that there's total accountability and that we don't pay for any of the tools until the minute we're ready to use them. We chose to partner with AutoCrib because they came from an industrial distribution background. They understand the needs of a distributor like EF Bailey Company to drive the cost out of the supply chain of our customers. Using AutoCrib, our customers are more competitive in the marketplace. AutoCrib provides better data, more information, and allows our customers to make better decisions. Bottom line, our customers are more profitable using AutoCrib. The biggest challenge we have today is meeting the demand with the exponential growth we've experienced. We have existing customers asking us to deploy in new applications, and we have new customers wanting to take advantage of the system. With the ability to dispense anything in less than 10 seconds, AutoCrib's integrated customizable software enables the rapid vending of anything, anywhere. 
I think vending or vendor managed inventory is, is the future. And anyone that is not either actively in it today or aggressively looking at it as part of their offering will not be here in a decade. Distributors frequently install auto crib systems at little or no charge to customers because they make the entire supply chain more efficient by reducing distributor costs. It's not one thing that makes auto crib unique. I think it's a hundred little things that make auto crib unique. It's the fact that we build everything in-house, both hardware and software, that gives us the ability to really control the user experience and make that very quick and easy for him. Secondly, I think our machines are the, are the most capable machines on the market. Uh, we have the ability to dispense anywhere up to 2,500 items in less than seven seconds, and we can push as much as 2,000 pounds in our RoboCrib 2000. So in the same machine that we dispense uh, a large welding tank, we can also dispense a tiny little washer and do that accurately. As the tool crib coordinator for a Fortune 100 company, I would definitely recommend the AutoCrib system for any company looking to save money and definitely increase productivity. Rick, you talk about the big seven cost-saving categories. What are they? Well, first is a 20 to 40 percent drop in consumption, just driven by reducing hoarding, waste, fraud, abuse, out-of-process use, and just poor accountability. Hmm. Second is uh, using reconditioned items, which can save up to 80% of the cost of those items. We can stop uh, slow and dead inventory before it ever hits the plant. Huh. We can reduce purchasing costs by up to 60%. You can reduce carrying costs on all that inventory. We reduce stockouts or in mo many cases eliminate them completely and then uh, walk time to and from the stores area to, to get the inventory. And of course, our systems run 24 seven with zero staffing required. Hmm. So really the ultimate goal is supreme efficiency. Exactly. What is making industrial vending so hot right now, Rick? Well, there are two factors. So first, companies all over the world are being asked to do more with less. And uh, managing inventory is a non-value added activity. Mm -hmm. So vending allows them to manage the replenishment, the storage, dispensing, and reporting w at a really low cost. Second, the small and medium sized distributors have over the last 20 years proven the incredible cost savings that can be driven by vending. And now the large distributors have decided to get into it with a really low cost, kind of low quality offering. And they've really stirred the marketplace and created a very hot market. Hmm. I hear there's a lot of inventory management software on the market. What does your system do that software alone cannot? Well, the software is great, but in our, with our system, if you don't put in the right information, you can't get the product. Mm -hmm. So what we really do is we take the software and we wrap it in sheet metal and add discipline. <laughs> and that discipline is what really drives the cost down. That's a great analogy. Where could you deploy these systems? What types of industries and applications could use this technology? Well, we think that we could create uh, a completely unmanned retail store. <laughs> wow. We've got applications uh, for controlling FOD for the airlines. We're managing uh, parts and uh, and equipment for the food distribution world. I mean, there's really no industry that I can think of where we couldn't deploy this. Right, if you need to use something, put it back, keep track of it, you're covered. If they need inventory, we've got a solution. What are the various business models for industrial vending and companies that choose to use it? Well, there are several. So first, you can buy your own machine and manage it yourself. You can buy your own machine and have a distributor fill it for you. You can uh, work with an integrator who will uh, buy everything you need at the lowest possible cost and pass that cost through to you. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they just charge you a monthly fee to manage your system. Mm -hmm. Or you can work with a distributor where they pay the upfront capital cost and then just build it into the price of the products that you buy from them. Mm -hmm. So. Really, it's whatever you need, there's a business model that, that fits. And what does the payback look like for an industrial vending system? What's the ROI? Well, it's unbelievable. It's, it's either weeks or months. Wow. We 
pretty much never recommend any system that doesn't pay back in less than a year. Wow, that's incredible. What are the changes that a user would notice immediately upon putting in one of these systems? Well, first is real-time visibility to all of their inventory anywhere in the world from a smartphone, laptop, uh, tablet, or computer of any kind. Uh, 20 to 30 percent reduction in inventory to run the system, 20 to 40 percent reduction in consumption, hmm. and no more stockouts. Wow. How does industrial vending help with Six Sigma and lean manufacturing initiatives? Well, by definition, we're lean because it's a pull system. So basically, we pull the, you know, the, the, the user would pull the inventory that they need when they need it, and it gets replenished automatically by the vendor. Mm -hmm. So you're only paying for what you use at the moment that you use it. Mm -hmm. So it's probably one of the easiest Six Sigma or lean initiatives that you could run. Rick, I hear the market is currently being flooded with low-cost vending machines. How much are they impacting AutoCrib? Well, they're really having a very small impact because of the low-cost solutions they're providing are really not designed for uh, an industrial environment. So companies with sophisticated problems are really just ruling out the whole candy bar machine solution. Those machines are limited to a maximum of 70 different items. They don't have very sophisticated software and they require a lot of repackaging, which is very costly over the entire life of the machine. Hmm. So sophisticated companies are really looking for a complete suite of software, they're looking for a complete selection of machines, and they're looking for the integration piece uh, and a, a powerful upgrade path, and we offer all of that. Hmm. So what separates AutoCrib from your competitors then? Well, what really separates us is our versatility and the fact that we don't just manage consumables. We also manage critical components, gauges, and other parts for food processors, aircraft, uh, manufacturers and other industries. Hmm. So it's really uh, our sophisticated software and our complete solutions that make the difference. Hmm. And it sounds like when you talk about the size of the parts that you're able to handle, you talk about parts for jet engines, my gosh, these are enormous machines, or could be. Yeah, so we just had uh, one of the airlines came to us with um, a situation where they had, their mechanics were leaving rags uh, in engines that they were rebuilding uh -oh. in other critical areas, and they had been fined by the government with quite a large fine. Mm. So they came to us, and they asked us to, if we could solve that problem, and within 60 days, we came up with a solution that uh, tracked the rag from inventory out onto the shop floor, back in at the end of the day, out to the laundry, back from the laundry, and 100% total control of every single rag from beginning to end. That's great. And we put that together in less than 60 days. No company on the planet could do that other than AutoCrib. To sum it up, Rick, what would you say are the business advantages of using an industrial vending solution? Lower costs, higher productivity, real-time visibility into your inventory anywhere in the world, from anywhere in the world, and really it's about freeing you up from the distractions of controlling inventory so you can focus on your core business, whatever that core business is. Rick, it seems like this solution just makes so much sense for so many industries. What's next for AutoCrib? Well, we see big opportunities in healthcare because of the changes in the healthcare laws. So. In the, in the medical world, they need the same level of control that banks have for money or manufacturers have for their materials. Oh, yeah. But that level of control simply doesn't exist in healthcare currently. Hmm. So in fact, uh, drug theft is a huge issue and there have been two television shows on it, House and <laughs> Nurse Jackie, <laughs> yes, that really highlight that problem. So we can help them with the theft issue and also cut their overall costs. In the past, there's been really no interest from the low labor cost countries, but now we're seeing interest from China and the Eastern Bloc hmm. because they're having the same inventory management issues that we are. So we're in the process of not only moving into those areas, but also looking for distributors in those areas 
And in the past, we've had a pretty good track record of finding the right distributors who can really create the right kinds of solutions for our customers. And as always, we continue to stay close to our customers and create innovative solutions to whatever inventory problems they're having currently. Wow, well it is easy to see that there are some real strategic opportunities for industrial vending. Thank you so much for sharing this concept with us, really interesting. Well thank you for inviting me. And thank you for watching. For 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales.